In this keywords review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this research tool and listing editor. If you have any questions, please comment them below, and I'll also leave a discounted link so you can always get your money's worth for keywords. Keywords is the ultimate keyword research tool and listing editor for Amazon, private label sellers, and agencies. Once we log into keywords, we come over to the dashboard. Here we do have a demo video, as well as three sections, which has my listings, my membership, and my profile. So first, I'm gonna go on my listings. As we can see at the moment, we don't have any listings saved, but if we go on create listing, we can first set our listing name, and we can select the product group as well. I'm gonna go ahead and click on create listing, and here, this has created our project. So first, I'm gonna go on add keywords. If we click on here, now we have research, keywords list, and CSV import, in case you wanted to import a load of keywords. So the keywords would depend on what your listing's for. Say if mine was a coffee machine, I could add coffee, coffee machine, etc. And then we can also select a group that we wanted to add them in. Obviously at the moment we don't have a group, but if I went on add new group, and there, I could type in coffee. Then if I go ahead and go on add keywords to project. So I think actually how this works is it's sort of one by one. So if I wanted to add another keyword, we could go to keywords list, add that to the group coffee and keep on adding them like that. As we can see, it's added machine in there. It's just worked it out from the two. Now we do have an array of different options here. We've got the copy button where we can copy all keywords, copy unused keywords, and copy unused single words. We could also search for something specific. This would help if we had a lot of different keywords. Sort them A to Z, sort them by volume, switch keywords list between dark and light text, hide keywords that have an exact match anywhere in your listing, add a group, so we've already added one here, but you could add a different one. And then obviously the add, what we clicked on before, is where we can add a new keyword or a new CSV file. Now here is where we can create the title for our listing. So if I type in coffee, and as we can see, that's highlighted coffee because we've added them from the keywords. Now obviously the more keywords you have, the better this would work. As we can see, it's got the T for title. If I put it into coffee into here, we can see it's got the F for feature. The S is for back in search terms and the D is for description. We've also got numbers by the keywords, so this shows how many times that word has been used. On this section here, we can also copy the text. It's got our amount of characters, and as it says here, Amazon recommends 100 characters for most categories, but allows you to have more. And for the title, it actually recommends 250 characters. You also have the option at the top here to import an ASIN, and you can select the marketplace what it's from, so if it's USA, or UK, etc. You can add your backend keywords as well as your description. And again, the more keywords you have and the more detail you go into, the better this is going to work. I've just used these for examples today. In the description box, you also have an array of options such as bold, italic, undo, redo, bullet list, numbered list, find and replace, clear formatting source code, full screen, the ability to add emojis, copy the text, or copy the HTML code. Next to the listing editor, we also have the Swiss Army Knife. Here is where you can add your import. You can extract your listing keywords or add new ones here. Pick your options and then click clean. We can select keep phrases, remove everything except A to Z, remove words shorter than three characters, join with a comma, remove words like about, all, alongside, etc. But once we're happy there, if we go on clean, and that's going to give us our output. If we go back onto the listing editor, we have the option of sharing our project, where we've got a URL, as well as a help button if we were having any problems. If we go back onto projects, we can see our project displays here. We can view the listing, export it, share it, rename it, or delete it. And that's just about everything. So what did I think of keywords.am?
Keywords was a brilliant application for creating Amazon listings. I love the keywords feature and the ability to import large CSV files. I did, however, find it a little bit confusing, so I'm really glad they had that tutorial video there. Overall, I think Keywords is a very helpful tool and I would definitely recommend it. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.